Hi family, how are you? I greet you all and it's my prayer that each and every one of you are doing fine. Everyone that is watching, listening to this video, I pray that you are doing fine in Jesus name. So I have a very quick way that I want to share with you and I be just yeah, I pray that you open up your heart and receive this word, meditate over it, uh, over your life especially because every time a word comes to somebody for me most of the times before i minister that word has to minister to me before i send it out there so lately i've been i've been having a lot of things that i've been meditating upon but today i just want to talk about something that we easily talk about it but it's very powerful so there's one sin that god does not forgive you know god can forgive anything that you do but there's only one thing that god does not forgive we are talking about god because most of the times we say that okay the only thing that god does not forgive is when you blaspheme the holy spirit that is the holy spirit now i'm talking about god himself god even the holy spirit is god when you blaspheme the holy spirit you are not forgiven now when you 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 do something to God he cannot forgive you and some of you just say oh we serve a living God who forgives not everything God forgives uh, so many of you asking me what do you mean so I'll take you to the scripture before I break down what I want to say hallelujah just open up your heart and I will speak up about it this thing that God does not forgive <laughs> hallelujah so i'll go in the book of matthews uh in the book of matthews 6 verse 14. the bible reads for, for if you sorry if you forgive those who sin against you your father in heaven will forgive you but if you refuse to forgive others your father will not forgive your sin so you see if you refuse to forgive, so the only sin that God cannot forgive you is a sin when you refuse to forgive others. When you, forgive, you refuse to forgive others, just unforgiveness itself, it is sin. And it is the only sin that God does not forgive because you have refused to forgive. One thing that we have, uh, you know, one thing that I've come to, an, uh, to say, uh, according, I've, uh, I'm saying this based on the observation and the things that I've been I've been analyzing about this. Many Christian, many, when I say many, is many. This includes people who go out to preach, preachers, believers, whoever. I one thing that I've noticed a lot of believers they struggle with the sin of, of unforgiveness. And unforgiveness is one thing that will make you like. I'll give a lot of example how a lot of people expresses their unforgiveness towards people you know right now I just when I notice I feel like I see non-believers are easy to forgive than believers mm -hmm. so you as a child of God I want to ask you do you only preach about forgiveness or you live uh, you leave forgiveness many times we construct nice words to preach we do construct nice way to say forgive but forgiveness does not only end with words forgiveness ends with action and I've seen some negative actions that happens in the body of Christ very nasty action that happens in the body of Christ when somebody just makes a mistake and one thing that I've noticed is that in the body of Christ, eh, churches and everything, people do not leave room for like for tolerance in terms if somebody wrongs you. I've seen people that leave churches, that leave churches, and they'll never talk to the church, to the, any person in the church where they came from, as if we fought. And I've seen people have remained in church that are not talking to those who have gone out. I'm not saying that there has to be a conversation like when you're like, oh, what, what? But when you meet, talk. You meet, greet. It doesn't, it, 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 it will not 
cause you to feel like you're big headed. When somebody who is, is you let me give you an example, a scenario. Here's somebody that wronged you or who you wronged. When you meet someone, talk. It's not a talk like great. It's not that like when you see somebody passing this side, you also go this side. You this one is coming, you also go this side. And when you stand, you're preaching about forgiveness. What forgiveness are you talking about, Auntie? What forgiveness are you talking about, Uncle? We need to work on our character. Forgiveness, yes, you have to we have to talk about forgiveness, but let forgiveness reflect in our action. Give room to somebody who injured you to talk to you. Don't harden yourself. Some people, they fail to approach you because you have hardened your heart. Well, the moment you see them from afar, you, you make your face, uh, you, I don't know, you, uh, you fold your face, if I can say that. You fold your face so that you should not give room for somebody to approach you. And you who's been approached, at least talk, respond in a good way. Preaching, uh, preaching about forgiveness, it, it should not just... You see, even the Bible says that action speaks louder than words. Action speaks louder than words. I can say that I've forgiven you, but I'm giving attitudes. As I can say I've forgiven you, but I'm not talking to you. I can say I've forgiven you, and like, oh, you, 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 but, but you're giving some attitudes. I can say that I've forgiven you, but at the end of the day, you can't even help your friend who has nothing to eat. Then what are you talking about? I can say I've forgiven you, but you can't open your house to see that that person that injured you, at least he should have shelter when you are in the capacity of helping. When you, you know that you are in the capacity of helping. Then what are we talking about? As Christian, what are we talking about? Some Christians, we are holding grudges against our parents. It's not, I'm not saying that maybe your parents did not wrong you. I'll give you an example of myself. Uh, me, when I, I, I was born, I was young, my dad rejected me. I'm giving this as an example. My dad rejected me. I grew up with my mom. And my dad is still alive. But when I, uh, and... I grew, yes, I grew up with my mom and we lived together. But at the end of the day, when I grew up, at some point when I grew up, I knew my dad. And my dad has been sick. He has been sick. But you know what? I'm in a capacity of taking care of my father. I did not look behind. In fact, when was that? Like last month. I was talking to my dad that, you, you know, I don't feel bad over the things that had happened for you neglecting me, all these things. God had planned it, had planned it. I was encouraging my father. But sometimes, because I know maybe if I had gone with my father, I could not have ended to be a child that I am today. But you know what, my father, my father was like, oh, he was just like a happy thing. I was encouraging my father. And I too have been taking some responsibility to take care of my father. I take care of my mother sometimes and my father. I've over, there's nothing that I can point out and say, oh, my dad did this to me, this did this, this, this for me. But you know what? I've decided to forgive my father and take the responsibility of being a child. And for that, the only thing that he says, he feels, he, he blesses me. The child that he neglected, I'm not the only child from my dad's side. The child that he neglected, I'm now taking responsibility to help my father in the area that he will need help according to my capacity. Some of us who are Christians, we talk about forgiveness. You have not forgiven your sister. It says it's I was just talking with my sister. I was like, I just wonder how people manage to sleep without uh to sleep, hate your sister's child. Your your, your own sister, you hate them. You feel jealous of your sister. Maybe if you're the firstborn like me and your sister is married earlier than you, the level of jealousy, the level of jealousy and forgiveness, bitterness. How would you allow God to heal you or to, to bless you when inside why you're supposed to put to add a blessing, why you are supposed to be open and receive a blessing, you're carrying bitterness. And you call yourself a Christian. You call yourself a born again Christian and you love God. You go to church. You leave your neighbor that you fought. You have not been talking to your neighbor. 
you have not been talking to your neighbor you don't talk to your neighbor and you say that i'm a christian and one day they want to go to church to become born again but when they remember you they're like ah no your four christians are like this i cannot go to church see the bible says if you do not god says that he, so if you you have to forgive your neighbor your friend you forgive others so that he can forgive you so sometimes some of us the reason that god is not blessing us i'm not everyone i'm not saying everyone some of us the reason that god is not blessing us it's because we are holding unforgiveness in our hearts i was talking to my auntie i have an aunt who's in canada as she was talking she had a dream and she had an encounter because herself she has these encounters that she has and it was like she, she said she it was like judgment day and she like five five people were like they were five five so in that group she was the only one that they even said that where she said that she's going to hell and she started asking why they, they, then god showed her a certain um, zambian player and who was looking like they don't qualify to go to heaven and they is the one that qualified and how was prayerful and everything has been praying he has been praying and he, he has been praying so she was like look at that one can go to heaven how about me then then she when she called me she started explaining to me we started talking about it i said oh then she brought it she, we talked about uh, talking about it and we discovered that one thing that my auntie the problem that is having is judgmental over somebody when you look at how that person looks you already know that ah this person is already condemned uh, already condemned so she said she saw in the heaven it was it and condemned her it was condemned and other the five that were, were in within that group they were, they had to go through and now she also the, during the same time she had another encounter and now that one it revealed that she's still having bitterness over people that injured her and when you look at her god is blessing her god is blessing her but because she's having some and she started seeing some things going down in her life and god said that and 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 uh, what she noticed that there are some people that she's having in her heart when she was growing up she was mistreated she was mistreated i just told my auntie that auntie do you know what you should do and others are dead and when she checked herself she said that she feels like indeed she has not forgiven she thought she has forgiven sometimes eh the only time you know that you're forgiven is when you meet the person that injured you i've got a lot of examples that i can give when you want to know that you still you have to meet the person that injured you and the reaction that you give that person not just hey you yourself you examine your heart and know if you truly truly are forgiven that person so i told my auntie that okay my what the other she says others are dead so how can i approach them i told them that you know what write their names down and write down whatever ever in her growth she was very she was abused i said write down over everyone even those that have gone the ones that you can call, call but and tell them i've forgiven you but those that have died write them their names down and write down what they what what pained you and go before God and say, God, if you need to cry, go before God and call their names. For example, Yvette, you injured me this and this and this. But today I decide to forgive you. Renounce it and let it come from your heart. So, this is how my, my aunt is a believer. Prayer, God is blessing her. But at the end of the day, she started noticing things are going down and she had an encounter. Go to remind her, despite of what has been happening in your heart, I've blessed you. I've taken care of you. She was abused at a very tender age when she was young. So, what am I saying? A lot of believers are carrying unforgiveness towards each other. This is the reason that if you carry unforgiveness, eh, instead of now preaching even the word of God, when you're given an opportunity to preach, you go and preach about the person that injured you. You fail to even concentrate to preach about the message that God is giving you another person becomes a topic and that becomes your message and forgiveness has got a way of uh, 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 when you you carry unforgiveness there's a kind the inner bitterness that you carry that every time you hear a name of that person that injured you all you want is to just uh you you may uh if you you like you bring out a comment 
maybe to the person that is announcing that person that is talking about that person unforgiveness i've seen preachers that are unfor very unforgiving very when you meet them they don't even want to talk to you and you, or you find it, the disappointing part is that you even carry the bible and start going preach what are you talking about go and make things right even the bible says that, uh, that if you discover that you have something against your brother put you want to give your offering put your offering down go and make things right they are they are going to make things right and come and give properly their offering there are many people who are giving offering but they have not made things right see you thank god for your, for, for for the offering thank god for the money but at the end of the day your money will not take you to heaven what will take you to heaven? God is going to examine that money that you gave, eh? that offering that you gave. It's going to be examined. It will pass through fire. Your intention of giving that thing, your motive. And forgiveness has caused a lot of people to even lose trust in the house of God. And forgiveness has caused a lot of people to hate each other. And forgiveness has caused people to preach wrong sermon that God is not even putting them in their hearts but to preach against somebody and forgiveness. The spirit of unforgiveness is a very wicked spirit. And that's the, only spirit, that's the only sin that God does not forgive. So we need to reach a point in our lives whereby we should be able to forgive people genuinely. Forgive your parents. Forgive your children. Are you going to forget what they did to you? Not at all. Are you going to bring them closer like it was? Not at all. But examine your heart. How can you, a, a Christian, preach about forgiveness? You even preach, forgive and you shall be forgiven. It's one thing to preach about forgiveness, but it is another thing to leave forgiveness. It is one thing to preach forgiveness, but it is another thing to preach, uh, to, it is another thing to leave forgiveness. The moment you start putting, sometimes don't even preach it, leave it. So that even when somebody look at you as like, wow, I injured that person. But you know what? When I went to that person, she fed me. She helped me. And when a person comes, you see, this work of God is not competition. Everyone has got their own grace. So if we, uh, 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 some people, sometimes, uh, forgive your neighbor, forgive your friend. Forgive your brothers and sisters. What are we talking about? If we come in church, we're not talking to each other. What are you talking about? What are you saying? What are you going to preach? Why? What are you going to preach? Because even the Bible says, you can even speak the language of angels. You can even prophesy. You can even do whatever that you want. But if you have no love, because when you carry love in your heart, when love is in your heart, Forgive, genuine love, I'm not just saying love, I love you, I love you. When you carry genuine love in your heart, you'll be able to forgive so easily. When you are in a relationship, you love your man, you love your woman. If you know that you love this person, definitely you'll be able to forgive them. You'll be able to forgive them no matter what they do. You'll be able to uh, tolerate a lot of things. Why? Because you love them. So what are you saying? Love your neighbor so that god can forgive you so if you have been holding grudges don't just talk about your forgive forgive go and practice the forgiveness receive the forgiveness and give the forgiveness when somebody brings they bring themselves they want to open up talk to them they want to make things right talk to them don't harden your face and make it you fold your face so that nobody is so, somebody should not talk to you what are we talking about why why are we even praying if we look at the things that we have um, done against God's secret, knowing and knowing the secret sins that we make, but he still loved us. He still calls us and is on. So what is your problem, auntie? What is your problem, uncle? What is the problem? Forgive each other. Let's move on. This is the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God is not, the Bible says the kingdom of God is not just in words, but it's in the demonstration of power. Forgiveness is powerful. Some of us, the only same thing that you're not receiving the blessing is because we are holding things against people. We are holding things against our friends. We are holding things against our family. Help, but stay. You can help. Your heart is free. Sometimes stay away from problems, not because... Stay away from problems. Use wisdom so that you should not make the same mistake. Settle things. The world is very smart. You don't know who you're going to meet next time. You're not talking to somebody. And one thing about God, eh? If you are the reason that wronged the person, you make sure that 
You who wronged that person will be the one who meet that person. That person who wronged you will not meet you. That's how it is. So in this, as Christians, as, as believers, let's ha let's, let us learn to forgive. Non-believers are able to forgive you than believers. Believers who hold things. I've heard people who come who hold things for four years, three years. And what did you say? Maybe you talked, yes, maybe you made a mistake. You talked about them or you said something about them. But when you're a believer, please try to let it go. This world is too small. Ah, the, life is too short. Don't allow yourself to go to hell because of unforgiveness. Hallelujah. So let me read it once more. If you forgive those who sin against you, your Father in heaven will forgive you. But if you refuse to forgive others, your Father in heaven will not forgive your sins. So... God can forgive a prostitute, God can forgive a, a witch, God can forgive, but you who's having unforgiveness, you go to church, you even preach, you're a pastor, you're a woman of God, you're a man of God, you're a minister, you're an evangelist, hell, because of unforgiveness. May God give us a spirit of forgiveness. May God give us a spirit of forgiveness. You don't talk to your sister, you don't talk to your brother. What are we saying? Please, let's forgive. Your, your, your sister in the Lord, your brother in the Lord, even unbelievers, love them. Because even God said, I did not come for the righteousness, but I came for the sinners. So forgive them. Forgive everyone. Be in the capacity that if you see this one is it does not have food, can you clothe them? Is your heart pure? Because at the end of the day, it all starts from the pure. You can help, but if your heart is your heart is darkened, your help is as help. <laughs> if I can say that, your help is, all, is as help. It's that help that when it passes through fire, it won't be able to stand. Only true works are going to stand. I pray that may God give us a heart to forgive others. In Jesus' name. Amen. May God bless you. Hope this has been a blessing to somebody. Okay? I know others will take it personal, but I've already spoken what was in my spirit. So, if you take it personal, please forgive me. I'm just saying what is in my spirit and my observation. So, forgive me already i'm talking about forgiveness so if i've wronged you that way please forgive me adoption i just had to speak god bless you all and keep the fire burning see you next time for the next video hallelujah